All right, guys, here we are at 513 Deep Gap Road. This is in the Aska Adventure area. And uh, you've got a little, you've got a gravel mountain drive. It's not super steep, okay, but it is a deep gap road. And to get these spectacular views, you do have to do a little gravel drive. Your little driveway here, though, is paved. You do have a big neighbor behind you. But uh, I'm here to tell you, you've got plenty of views from this cabin. It is an older cabin built in the late 80s, okay? But all things considered, Seems to be fairly well maintained. Uh, they had just put this on Vacasa. So it has, ne had, has not been a rental until as of late. But let's go through the home. So on the front here, tons of natural light. And yes, you get the mega view. I guess um, we can go ahead and do that. Check out the view. You get to see uh, the lake from here. So. And you see the lake, there's Lake Blue Ridge. You can see all the little cabins across the valley. But this one, um, this one's on the penthouse. And how big is this deck? Pretty big, okay? Fireplace, stone fireplace. It actually seems it looks to be in pretty good shape. You know, for its, for its age, it looks to be in really good shape. Uh, outside of the house is painted, looks okay. I can see there may have been in the past some woodpecker damage, but that's pretty standard for a house of this age. Logs look pretty good. You've got that screened in porch area, which I came in through. Um, deck feels good. I don't, I don't have any problems with the deck. So let's go back in, it is cold. I can tell you up here, the wind gets you. All right, so main living space here, six seater there. I got kind of the love seat gas fireplace, plenty of place to put a television. Um, pretty good space here. Looks like this is upgraded countertops, you know. The doors, if you wanted to update these, you could make it a little chicer, you could. Trash compactor doesn't work, but I mean, it's nice and clean. There's this little space here for extra eating and you know, you're not closed off, the kitchen isn't closed off from everybody. Uh, does have Wi-Fi here, so. Let's go into little bedroom number one here. They've kind of got it as a twin full or a, a full twin bunk. Okay. Fits in here great, about what you'd expect. Window treatments, it looks like something, one of the Venetian blinds is out. Um, yeah. I would update that. Bathroom. Yeah. You know what? It's built in 1988, 1989, something like that. I think it's pretty fair. For what you're seeing you can tell it was just you know this has just been a vacation home for somebody uh hasn't been beat up it's just it it is 30 plus years old uh, floors are floors look pretty good all things considered all right let's go to the second bedroom here now this bedroom i could be wrong but i believe this was an addition at one point in time this was the porch that probably wrapped around and they turned this into a bedroom uh, pretty cool. I don't have, you know, seems really good. You may, you know, if you had to in the winter, you know, maybe get you a little mini micro space heater to put in here. Cause I don't know if it's got its own, if this room has its own register, but, uh, man, cozy little room and to wake up with that view would be pretty special. Uh, definitely something you can sell. So Really, really cool, but nice, nice little space. All right, and let's go, let's go upstairs. So that's two bedrooms here. And this is a true log, remember? So you'll see some of that weeping and the way the uh, wood turns, but that's not a big deal. A lot of closet space, huge, huge bed i don't know it almost seems bigger than a king like it's something like a step up bigger than a king anyway this is a big room they got a tv up here you've got doors so it's not it, it you know it's not just a loft it's you know a true bedroom with doors own master bath 
here, sink and shower. And again, you close the blinds, but you know what? And it even has the, you know, kind of a nice shower. Imagine taking a shower and, you know, catching that view. There is a skylight over here. Let's see, looks to be in pretty good shape from here. Uh, yeah, pretty cool, you know. Again, just need some updating. That's really it. I mean, like this, I mean, it just looks old, you know. But in here, it looks good. They've just got a, they got a lot of older furnishings in here. Yeah, come on in. Sorry, guys, we, we will not be alone on this tour. And let's go down to the basement, check it out. Again, another shot of the kitchen. And so we've seen three bedrooms so far. And this space is pretty cavernous, the game room. So honest opinion, it's awesome. You could do a ton of cool stuff down here. Um, I mean, a lot, a lot, a lot of cool stuff can go on here. Now, looks like the seal is gone from this door. If you eventually wanted to replace that, you could. I would just put some blinds on. I would just hide it. I don't, I don't think I would spend the money just yet to change out the glass there. But again, you've got the view out there. And we'll go outside in a second. Again, full-size pool table here. I believe that's a full-size. It's a big table, okay? It's not a mini one. Fits in here great. Wet bar over there. Really, really cool. Uh, they got some stuff locked up there. And, and here, again, more porch, more deck. You can see that's where you park and you can come around, walk around. So you've got another deck area here. Washer, dryer through those doors there. Uh, in a bathroom. Let's see. Okay, I can't get the lights to work. Now, I will say, this is an older home, and there are light switches everywhere. And some of them work, and some of them don't. So, what do we got in here? Okay. Oh, looks like you've got a, uh, that's an upgrade. It looks like a tankless hot water heater. So, that's cool. All right, and then just a standard fiberglass tub. Uh, but that's really it. Um... You know, I was walking around here, flooring right here, kind of, and it may just need a just may need a nail or something like that. No big deal. Uh, but let's go. Let's go outside so you can kind of see what this deck is like. And again, another huge deck. And so, where are you going to put the hot tub? Well, okay, there's a sauna right here. They designed this to be a fire pit, and so be it. I don't know if you could put a hot tub over that if you wanted to move the fire pit somewhere else and give yourself that view. Uh, could you put it over here on this corner? I don't see why not. Just make sure you get it braced. I just don't see a power supply right here close by. Um, maybe they could run something underneath and come up that corner and you could put one here. Again, plenty of room to do it. I'm just saying where it would be like super, super easy. Part of me says right here would be super, super easy because there's a, there's a breaker box right there, I'm sure, for the sauna. You could tie into that. You could put it here. Now, would you get, you, you kind of have it covered up. Um, you know, your, your awesome view would be a little covered up. But in the short term, I believe you could easily put one here. Again, plenty of room. You could put the biggest hot tub in the world there or over there. Uh, no problems. So that's, that's really it. A lot of deck space, a lot of living, you know, if you include this basement, ton of living space. This, this area here is what's going to sell this cabin, okay? This is what's going to make you money, what you do down here. Um, you know, I am, you know, they got that TV there. I would love to figure out how to put it over there above the fireplace. Maybe somebody tried to do that once upon a time. I don't know if there's something behind that picture or not. Uh, put a couple arcades over there against the wall. Uh, I mean, you could do a lot of cool stuff here. These couches aren't that great. Uh, but... Again, it's a it's a cool place. There's a lot to do here. This this has something that most cabins don't have, and that's a lot, a lot of room. 
So let's go back up. I will leave you with a shot of the main living area to kind of give you an idea, a refresher of what this looked like. That's it, 513 deep gap.